There you are, welcome back, and actually welcome to Stargate Studios Malta. This is my friend Matt. Matt, what do you do here? Well, I'm the managing director of the company. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, bottom line, it boils down to running the studio. And running the studio, I would imagine, it takes quite an effort. You have a wonderful team, and I just thank you again for helping us with all the shoots that we did here on the island of Malta. If I remember correctly, I've seen a 3D printer in your office hey. continually printing while we've been here. And then I also got to see a really cool piece of footage where there was um, a commercial product that your studio made where popcorn was thrown into the air in slow motion. And someone brought out this wooden contraption, and I was told this made it, and you actually did the 3D printing for it. So, guilty as judge. 3D <laughs> printer is in my room, as of recently, but it is. And uh, that's really my go-to place. It's a passion of mine. It calms me down, and I enjoy designing stuff in my head, and eventually let it print for a couple of hours. And it's satisfying when it's there on the bed, and it, and it looks just like you imagined it, or just like you designed it in Fusion. Guilty is charged, I am the 3D printing influence and I have brought it into the studio to resolve some problems that we've found or to create things or, or, or production tools that we didn't have access to before. Okay. Uh, we do live on an island, shipping and stuff can take some time. I would imagine so. And sometime print, sometimes printing it off is, 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 is the quicker or the faster solution. And or the calming solution. Or the calming solution. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is, this is a food catapult, or a, 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 yes, it's a catapult that we use for slow motion footage. Ah! Jesus Christ! This is actually something you designed with 3D printing in mind. You have wood and 3D printed parts, mm -hmm. and it's used for commercial production. Yes. This is an essential tool for getting your job done. So shooting slow motion means that you most probably don't get it in the first take. Uh, it is, there's, there's a lot that happens in those very split seconds and you get to see it when you play it back, but whilst it's actually happening, uh, you don't have any control. It goes, it goes. So you try to have repeatable takes with repeatability. And this is a, a contraption which, help, which helps us get closer to a repeatable take. So we can tweak it, we can change it, we can adjust it. So we play back those couple of seconds and it looks just like we wanted it. So we resort to wood, we resort to 3D printing to be able to uh, give us a structure. I find this very useful. I, I, I like the fact that we could jig it together with a couple of screws. Uh, and then we have elastic bands, which uh, over here provide the catapult. Okay. And we have a platform. We actually have a couple of different platforms. Well, I, I've got one in front of me too, yeah. don't I? This was an evolution because, as you know, you iterate and you evolve the design. Mm -hmm. And we realized that the way you throw something up into the air changes given on the base with which uh, they're on, right? So if it's, if it's cone and it goes up, you expect to get one shape. Whilst if it's oh. flat... Or if it's flat like this one. You would get a different shape. Okay. And this one, in fact, is different shapes to it. So we can have different heights. So if oh. you're flinging pasta in the air, you can choreograph some of the flight. Just Minimally, but you can. So there's different geometry here, and that different geometry lets the popcorn or whatever exactly. you're flinging into the air go about in slightly different trajectories. And, and this, these little things are to stand macaroni on the head. So, so then you would pull on the lo-fi string, have the, the catapult go down. Now I'm going to explain these little rods. These two guys help you rotate. Oh, I thought they were like guides to make sure it stayed straight. They help you rotate one turn, half a turn, or whatever it would be. And therefore, you can introduce rotation into. So you don't see it with the naked eye, but it ever so slightly rotates as it goes up. And things can spin as they leave. And so you, and that's, and through practice and through just many iterations, you exactly. found that that exactly. slight. Well, we went through tons of iterations from which rubber bands to use, <laughs> how many to use. Uh, we, 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 we have six and now we put on 12 to be able to diffuse the, the, the different, elect, different elect, elasticity of the rubber bands. And, uh, and yes, we have different shapes, different sizes. So I do want to print another version, but this is doing the job. I love this as a practical solution. A lot of times on the show, we try to feature practical printing because it's really great when 3D prints themselves can solve just problems that 
maybe can't be solved in any other way. And you're taking it a step further because you're on an island, things being shipped in take yep. some time. Like something like this, if someone came in and said, I need slow motion popcorn in the air tonight, and it's 9 a.m., you have a solution. We do have a solution, and it's amazing. Most of the solutions behind the camera are generally lo-fi, ingenious, little tidbits. Oh, that's fascinating. I'd actually like to see this in action. Do you think we could load this with some I'm product sure and throw can. it in the air? How about popcorn? I love it, let's try it. We're loaded up, so I get to do it? You Is absolutely right? do. Okay. Flying popcorn in three, two, One. <laughs> well, that was fun, huh? That was incredible. That was fun. I love this device. And I have had a wonderful time. Matt, could you look to the audience there and just let them know if they want to know anything more about Stargate Studios Malta, there's places to go. Yeah, look us up in the description. I was for Joe to have us host our social links in the description and do check us out. Well, thanks for watching. If you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for a cause you believe in, fling all the popcorn, and as always, high five. Nailed it.